What is the value of the expression 54 minus 18 divided by 9 then times 2? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? This expression has tricked almost 95% of people. Let's take a closer look and solve it together. To solve this question, most people first go for the subtraction between 54 and 18 and they rewrite this expression as 36 divided by 9 times 2. And the next step, they usually perform the division between 36 and 9 and simplifying this expression to 4 multiplied by 2, which finally gives them the answer 8. And immediately, they quickly say that the correct answer to this question is option A. However, this answer is actually incorrect. Also, some other people to solve this question first go for the multiplication between 9 and 2 because they think multiplication has a higher priority than division. So, they rewrite this expression as 54 minus 18 divided by 18. And the next step, they perform the division between 18 and 18 since they believe division has a higher priority than subtraction. And they simplify this expression to 54 minus 1, which finally gives them the answer 53. Then, without any hesitation, they quickly say that option C is the correct answer to this question. But, I have to say, we were tricked and it's not the correct answer to this question. Alright, now let's go step by step together and I will show you how to solve this expression correctly. To solve this problem, we must follow a rule that is called PEMDAS. And this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. We should perform these operations exactly in order from top to bottom. Okay, according to the PEMDAS rule, we must start with the division and multiplication, because these two operations have a higher priority than subtraction. However, it's very important to keep in mind that multiplication and division have exactly the same level of priority. In this situation, the best approach is to start from the left and perform these two operations in order. So, first we perform the division between 18 and 9, and instead of the original expression, we can write 54 minus 2 times 2. And the final step, we should perform the multiplication between 2 and 2 because multiplication has a higher priority than subtraction. So, this expression simplifies to 54 minus 4. And finally, we get the answer 50. Therefore, option B is the correct answer to this question. Alright, now let's solve another tricky math question together. What is the value of the expression 6 divided by 2 and again divided by 6 divided by 2? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? Let's carefully go through the step by step and solve it together. At the beginning of solving this question, many people jump straight to the first expression, 6 divided by 2, which I have highlighted in yellow, and replace it with 3. And the next step, they go for the other expression of 6 divided by 2, that I've highlighted in blue, and again replace it with 3. Finally, they conclude that 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. Then, without any hesitation, they quickly say that option C is the correct answer to this question. However, that's definitely wrong. Alright, now let me walk you through a step by step how to solve this expression properly. As you can see in the image, in this expression, we have three division signs. It's very important to note that when an expression contains only division signs, we must always move from left to right and carry them out in order. So, first we start with the expression 6 divided by 2, which I have highlighted in yellow. And instead of this expression, we can write 3 divided by 6, then divided by 2. Now, we can write 3 divided by 6 in the form of a fraction. So, this expression becomes 3 over 6 divided by 2. Okay. Whenever we see a division sign between two terms, the best strategy is to use the KCF rule. And this rule, K stands for keep the first fraction as it is. C stands for change the division sign to multiplication. And F stands for flip the second number. So, instead of the highlighted part, we write it as 3 over 6 multiplied by 1 over 2, which ultimately gives us 3 over 12. And it simplifies to 1 over 4. Therefore, Option A 
is the correct answer to this question.